All right, Makeup Geeks, I have a tutorial for you guys today, and I'm so excited because it's a fall one. You guys know I love fall. I'm still over this heat. Even though it's still hot as hell in Sacramento right now, I don't care because I'm ready for the boots. I'm ready for my scarves. Do you guys even see I have my little fall decor here for you guys? Like it? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, this is the look I did for you guys. It has like a vampy lip, and I'm using a new Dual Chrome Pigment Prism, which is freaking amazing. I'm not just saying that because we sell it, you guys. It is such a cool pigment because it's a dual chrome. It reflects different colors and different lights and I'll show you in the tutorial too I don't know if you can get a glimpse of it yes it's copper it's white no wait it's pink I don't know it's so many colors <laughs> anyways this is the look I created for you guys so let's get started on it Okay guys, so to start our fall makeup, what you're gonna do, I, I know I have foundation and powder on. I did a video, my newest flawless foundation routine. Watch that. I just don't wanna do it in this whole video because it would be a really long video and you guys would be like, by the end of it, so I'm saving you some time. <laughs> Anyways, I already put a primer down um, because I'm gonna use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and it's a beautiful white color. It's a great base, but sometimes it can crease, so that's why I put a primer down. But all I'm gonna do, you guys, is just start this in the center of my lid, just like this, and then take your ring finger, because we want just a really thin layer, and just blend it out all over the lid. Okay, now that the base is down, you're gonna take the eyeshadow Bitten. It's a nice, deep, ruddy, kind of burgundy color. I'm gonna go in with the Defined Crease Brush, or you can use the Outer V Brush, because I wanna do kind of like a soft cut crease, not a really sharp one, because it's not always flattering for everyone. I think this one's a little bit more wearable. Oh, hello, bangs. I feel like I have the comb over today. My part is so wide, I literally feel like I have a toupee on with a comb over, but whatever, we're rocking with it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put this right here in the crease and I'm gonna make a C shape. So I'm gonna come down the sides. I don't know if you can see that of the lid. So bring it in about right there and it's okay if you got a little mistake because we're gonna cover that with some pigment or what you guys can do if it goes down a bit, take a Q-tip. Just kind of clean that up a little. Okay, now take that same brush. We're gonna warm it up a little bit and take the color Chickadee. It's a really fun matte orangey color. It's great for fall, because fall is all about some oranges. All right, we're gonna put this right above Bitten and blend it up a little bit. Okay, same brush again. You guys like how I'm using the same brush. I'm saving you some money. We're gonna do Peach Smoothie, and this is gonna go above Chickadee. So it's almost like a gradient effect where you have like the deep plum, and then you have the orange, and then it goes into a peachy color. We're gonna blend this up to the brow bone. Okay, I'm touching up Bitten just a little bit more because sometimes when you blend it, you can lose the vibrancy. So I'm just gonna touch that up a little bit more. Okay, same brush again. Now I'm gonna highlight in the inner corner. I'm gonna take White Lies. It's just a matte white. If you have darker skin, this is gonna be too ashy. So do Beaches and Cream or Creme Brulee, one of those. Just something that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. And I'm gonna put this just in the inner part of the eye. And then I'm gonna highlight under the brow bone just slightly. Okay, now to add more fall colors, we gotta have some brown. So I'm gonna take Bada Bing and the pencil brush, the Makeup Geek one, cause it's super, super tiny. And I'll show you why in a second why I'm using one so small. Okay, we're gonna smudge this under the lower lashes. Did you see that brain fart right there? Yes, I have one every video. <laughs> that was it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just smudge this under the lower lash line. It really just darkens the lashes and adds a little bit of color. I'm gonna come in about two thirds, so I'm gonna stop about right here. Don't come in all the way because then it can make your eyes look kind of small. Okay, now switch to just a slightly larger pencil brush. You can use the Morphe E26 or the MAC 219. And I'm gonna go in with Cocoa Bear and it's a warm brown color. We're gonna smudge this just under that bada bing just to soften it so it's not too harsh. Okay, now using that same brush, I'm gonna go in with the Foiled Shadow Untamed and it's a really pretty golden -y copper color. We're gonna put this just under the lower lash line. Did I just whistle? I did, what was that about? Okay, 
Now comes the fun part. Are you guys ready for the lid color? I am using a new duochrome pigment called Prism. Let me swatch it for you guys because it's amazing. I, words don't describe it. I don't even think pictures or video show what it looks like in person. You just have to trust me. Okay, so I'm going to try to like get you to see the duochromeness. Okay, if you turn it in different lights, it reflects pink, it reflects copper, it's white. Do you see all that? There's even a touch of silver in there. How cool is that? Do you see it reflecting? I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost like a triple chrome because you could see three different colors in there. It's so beautiful. So what we're gonna do, take a flat, stiff brush. You can use the MAC 239. I'm using the Low Cornell. You can get these at Michaels for a few dollars, the 270 Maxine's Mop. It's really cheap and it's basically a, a MAC 239 but way cheaper. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this on the lid. So just pat this on. Look how pretty that is. I know it looks kind of white on camera. If you guys want it not to be so bright, you can skip the white base and just put this directly on the lid, but it shows some copper in there. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but in person, you guys, I swear it's so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do the liner. I'm gonna take my tape, my scotch tape, and I've done this trick for you guys before. And yes, I have a shoe tape holder because <laughs> that's how I roll. All right, so take a couple pieces of scotch tape, put it on the back of your hand so it's not super, super sticky. We're gonna use this for our winged liner or for those of you out there who are winged liner pros, you could probably skip this step. But what I like to do is line it up with my bottom lash line and just extend it out. And that's kind of my guide for the liner. I do this because it helps me keep everything really even. Sometimes when I do my winged liner freehand, one's like this and one's like this and they're not even. And then you look at me and you feel like my eyes are crooked and just not a good look. It's not a pretty look, folks. Okay, we are gonna take the Makeup Geek Bent Liner Brush and the Immortal Gel Liner. And all I'm gonna do, you guys, is run this along the lash line. I like to start at the halfway point. And then take a little bit more and we're going to run this alongside of the tape and you could extend it out as far as you want and you just connect it to the lash line creating almost like a triangle shape okay now we can touch up the fallout and the dark circles underneath so all i'm going to do is take a liquidy um, concealer i'm using the naked skin one by urban decay I really like the Maybelline Fit one. I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. It just walked off. So I have to use this one today. But I really like the Maybelline Fit one as well. So either one. I'm going to take a fluffy dome brush like this. this. is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. And all I'm going to do is sweep this out to brighten under the eyes. I'm going to come down on the cheekbones just a little bit to highlight it. Okay, now what you guys can do is take a beauty blender and your favorite powder, your face powder, and just set that slightly. And what I like to do is a triangle right here. So it's like a triangle like this of a powder that's just slightly lighter than my skin and it kind of highlights that area. Put a little bit on the top of the nose. Okay, now it's time for the lashes. I'm gonna use the Ardell number 206s. They're like really flirty ones. They're the double lashes. And all I'm gonna do is put some, where did my lash glue go? Some dual lash adhesive, I like the dark one. Let it sit for about a minute till it gets tacky and just set them on. Okay, once the lashes are done, then you guys can just apply your mascara. Okay, now it's time for the contouring. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Contour Kit, the light one. I'm gonna go in with this, um, the middle color because it's a little bit warmer. And I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush because it's amazing, it's my favorite brush ever. Okay, what I'm gonna do is put this right here under the cheekbone and create that contour and stop about right here. If you go in too, too far, it can look like you have a beard. Okay, now you guys, I'm coming coming up. <laughs> That's brain fart number two. Coming up on the sides of the temple and up here. We're kind of creating a halo effect on the face. You want the center of your face to be brighter. And so that's why I'm coming up on the temples. And then bring it up slightly up the cheekbones. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek Blush in Infatuation. It's kind of um, 
don't know what to call it. It's like a terracotta color. So you can put it um, a little bit lower and it's almost like a mixture between a blush and a bronzer. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but let me show you, let's do this side. You see how it adds some warmth to the face? And leave the top of your cheekbones light. We're gonna highlight that in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to a cheek highlighter brush. I'm gonna go in with the Becca um, Champagne Pop. And we're gonna put this just on top of the cheekbones. This is a beautiful highlighter. Jacqueline did such a good job on this. Hi, Jacqueline. Okay, now it comes time for the lips. I'm gonna take the NYX Lip Liner in Burgundy, and we're just gonna line the lips with this. Okay, now go in with Kat Von D's Lipstick in Motorhead. It's such a beautiful deep berry color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's perfect for fall. So we're gonna put this just on the lips. Okay, so this since this is a little darker than how it turned out yesterday, I have no idea why. We're gonna lighten it just a little bit. I'm gonna take a um, kind of a more rosy color. This is the Rimmel one, number 14. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's this color. I'm gonna layer it on top to kind of lighten this a little bit so it's not too, too vampy. And there you go, you have your fall look. If you guys feel like this is too much with this lip, you can always tone it down and do like a nude lip if you want, but I wanted something that was very fallish. So I love the combination of a, like a deep plum or a deep berry lip with a uh, light color on the eyes and the duochrome is so freaking amazing, you guys, because it reflects different colors. I don't know if you can see it now, how it does copper. Do you like my really sexy look? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have fun with your makeup. Don't forget to click on the link below and subscribe to my channel, Makeup Geek TV. So have fun, you guys, with your makeup, and I, I will talk to you soon. Bye.